This video is designed to instruct both professional installers and do-it-yourselfers in the installation of SimTech decorative rock walls. These thoroughly proven installation techniques are detailed to ensure an excellent finished wall. This video should be used in conjunction with written instructions available on SimTech's website or available in print from the factory. Written instructions provide greater details such as fastener sizes and specifications, illustrative photos, and other important facts. A quality finished wall is the result of a quality installation. The layout must be consistent with ground contours. Posts must be appropriately spaced and properly anchored. Follow SimTech installation instructions carefully and your wall will be both structurally correct and a beautiful addition to your project or property. Before beginning any installation, check all local regulations regarding fencing, location of all buried utility lines, and correct property lines. Be certain you are in compliance with all utility line locator requirements, local codes, and laws. The complete wall configuration will have already been determined prior to order, including each line of wall, corner posts, end posts, and gate locations. If posts are to be installed in level ground, panel support brackets will be set so that the bottom edge of the panel is 73 and a half inches from the top of the post. Attaching brackets in advance of post installation is easier using a measuring template of 73 and a half inches long for faster, repetitive bracket installation. It is easier to change a bracket in the field if necessary than to install brackets once posts are installed in the ground. Installed brackets provide a leveling point on each post. If a laser is available, it will be an excellent tool to assist in determining grade and slope. For a level ground installation, begin at a corner or an end post. This will give you a good starting point. If there is a slope, it is easier to begin at the top and work your way downhill. Dig all post holes at least 30 inches deep by 12 inches in diameter. Holes must be 71 and a half inches center to center. Walls will rarely measure out to be an exact number of full panels. Therefore, it will likely require cutting one or more panels to complete a wall. Depending on personal preference, you may wish to narrow the width of the last two to three panels or cut the first and last panels evenly so that there is not one very narrow panel. Dig the remainder of the holes. Alternatively, for do-it-yourselfers, you may want to mark and drill only a few holes at a time. Stretch a string on the outside line of the posts from the beginning of the fence to the end of the fence. This will ensure a straight line of holes. If curves are required, the line may be broken, but post hole spacing must remain 71 and a half inches, or less, if you wish to cut the panel. The string will assist in keeping the posts lined up.